Hello everyone, and welcome to the third episode of the Destiny Weapon Review. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the exotic fusion rifle, Plan C. Plan C's weapon damage is average for a fusion rifle, although most fusion rifles' damage is dependent on how fast they fire. Each trigger pull of Plan C will fire a burst of 7 beams. In PvE, it will one burst enemies of lower tier provided you have good accuracy, while requiring two bursts to kill the highest tier non-major enemies with any shield. The blast surprisingly does not kill a fallen captain in one burst. In PvP, much like all other fusion rifles, connecting with most of your burst will be a one-shot kill. Each individual beam does 42 damage, meaning you need five beams to hit your target for a one-shot. Fusion rifles do not have headshot multipliers, so aiming for the body is ideal. Plan C's rate of fire is 36 RPM, or BPM, bursts per minute, but this can be increased to 42 with accelerated coils. At the base level, a fusion rifle's rate of fire is proportional to its damage. The slower the charge time, the higher the damage. However, adjusting a fusion rifle's rate of fire with any sort of upgrades on the weapon will not adjust its damage. Its reload time is 2.33 seconds, above average for fusion rifles. Magazine capacity is also above average, with Plan C having 5 rounds per magazine, although its maximum capacity is a whopping 30 rounds, much higher than average. Plan C's strength is in its stability upgrades. While the base amount of stability is nothing impressive, upgrading it with the optional bonuses makes Plan C very stable compared to other fusion rifles, which makes it great for engaging enemies you might normally not be as accurate on. Its accuracy from the hip is pretty good, much like all fusion rifles, and can be relied on a little bit more thanks to the hip fire bonus on this weapon. Aim time is 200 milliseconds with weapon swap time being 1 second. The upgrades on Plan C are very good overall. The first set of upgrades consists of Field Choke, CQB Ballistics, and Smart Drift Control. Field Choke will end up giving you the highest damage out of all the upgrades, while CQB Ballistics increases your stability by a whopping 100%, essentially doubling your stability while reducing your range a small amount. Smart Drift Control increases your stability even slightly more than CQB Ballistics while reducing range slightly more. Hipfire is Plan C's first bonus, which gives bonus accuracy while aiming from the hip. In certain close range situations, this saves you time that you'd normally spend scoping in. The second set of upgrades are all fantastic. You can choose from Accelerated Coils, Hammer Forged, or Perfect Balance. Accelerated Coils decreases the charge time of Plan C, Hammer Forged increases range and accuracy, and Perfect Balance increases your stability even more. Accelerated Coils reduces charge time from 1.67 seconds to around 1.43 seconds, increasing your BPM from 36 to around 42. Hammer Forged makes it so your damage drop-off comes at a farther range, while also increasing hip-fire performance by tightening the possible spread of beams fired. Perfect Balance, much like Smart Drift Control, increases your stability by a whopping 105% with no drawbacks. Plan C's main bonus is the conveniently named Plan C, which decreases weapon swap time and charge rate after you swap from any weapon to Plan C. When this bonus is off cooldown, you can swap from your primary weapon to Plan C and fire a shot in 900 milliseconds. This combined with the first bonus, Hip Fire, makes Plan C quite a beastly weapon whenever you need to switch to it. Note that you cannot just keep swapping repeatedly as there is an internal cooldown of about 10 to 15 seconds on this bonus. Also note that if you do not fire the shot almost immediately after swapping weapons, the charge time will go back to normal. Let's quickly take a look at all the different options for stability upgrades. At base, it fires like you'd expect. With one stability upgrade, it's about half of what the previous recoil was, and at maximum stability possible on the weapon, there's barely any recoil at all, and this is from a pretty far range, maybe just inside the range you'd effectively be able to use a fusion rifle in most scenarios. Plan C stays on point at this range, just fine with maximum stability, meaning in both PvE and PvP scenarios, you'll be able to stay super accurate from ranges you typically couldn't be too accurate from with other fusion rifles. PV upgrades should normally incorporate as much damage as possible, however the benefits from the stability upgrades outweigh the slight damage increase you'd get from Field Choke. For PvE, you may want to roll with a full stability build, so CQB Ballistics or Smart Drift Control and Perfect Balance to make sure you can really pump out big damage from a long range. However, for PvP, charge time is king, and the faster you can launch bursts, the better. Going full stability doesn't help nearly as much in PvP as it does in PvE, 
because in PvP, targets are smaller and move a lot more. Even the slightest of movements can throw you off. Plan C is the ultimate fusion rifle package, being able to capitalize on the weaknesses of the fusion rifle class, stability and range. No matter the scenario, Plan C has a set of upgrades ready to go, a very fitting quality for a weapon with a name like Plan C. A full stability loadout will ensure you kill targets from ranges thought impossible to kill from. Its PvE capabilities are quite good, being able to burst targets from much farther away than normal, keeping you a lot safer. The only drawback are the bonuses which are slightly weak for PvE content, but that is honestly a nitpick giving the weapon's bonuses go in tandem. It's supposed to be a weapon you pull out for instances of things getting too close to you. Other than that, Plan C is a near perfect fusion rifle fit for any mode of play. Great fighters may not need contingency plans, but it's always a good idea to have a Plan C in your pocket anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.